Hi guys, it's Ms. Elia. Welcome back. Um, I know you guys have been learning about 3D shapes and the different vertices 3D shapes have. Today I want to talk about the positioning of different 3D shapes. But first I would like to review some of the shapes that you've already seen. The first one is a cylinder. The next one I want to go over, we have a cone. We also have the rectangular prism, the uh, sphere. We also have the pyramid and we also have our cube today. So when we talk about the position of our 3D shapes, I also wanna go over some vocabulary with you today. So first vocabulary, here we have the word above. So I want you to notice above, it means that something is on top, on top. So if I have my sphere, it is above this uh, rectangular prism right now. It means it's at the top. So above means at the top. Next we have below. Below actually means that something is underneath. So if I have my sphere at the, at the top, above, below is my rectangular prism. So I'm talking about this blue shape underneath, okay? Next we have next to. Next to and besides. They basically mean the same thing. So if I am next to something, so if I have my pyramid and my cube, they are both next to one another, or they are also beside one another. So I want you to remember, next to and beside. Next, we wanna go over in front of. So if I have a shape, let's see, I have my cylinder and my cone. The first shape you're able to see in front is actually my cone. So that means it's the first thing that you're able to see and that's in front of. So it's in front of the shape that's in the back. So the shape that's behind is the cylinder. This one we call behind. So we're going to continue our lesson. I want you to think about these words as we go over them in terms of position of the 3D shape. So first, if I said, here is my cube, I say, put your cone in front front of, in front of the cube. Would I, I would take my cone and it would go in front of it. This would mean in front. If I say, um, I want the cylinder next to the rectangular prism, beside the rectangular prism, that means they are next to one another. Next to or beside. Remember, those are the same thing. And I want you to help me with the following examples. Now that we've talked about all of these words, above and below, and we've talked about next to and beside, we've also talked in front or behind. I want you to identify in the next pictures and the next images that we're gonna see. I want you to help me out and tell me if the shapes are either above or below, or are they beside one another? So here's our first image. Here we go, are you ready? Is this sphere below the rectangular prism or is it above the rectangular prism? If you said it's above, you are correct. Good job. Next, here's the next image. Is this cube below the yellow cone or is it above the cone? Think about it. If you said it's below, you're also correct again. Here's the next example. Are these ice cream cones be behind one another or are they next to one another? What do you think? If you said they're next to one another, you are correct again. Good job. Here's another image for you. Are these juice boxes? Look at them carefully. Are they below one another or are they beside one another? If you said beside, you are correct again. You guys are doing a really great job. And here's our last example that I want you to help me out today. Here's are the small pyramids. Are these behind the larger pyramids or are they in front of the larger pyramids? I'm looking at the small ones, okay? So think about that. Are they behind or are they in front of? If you said they are in front of, then you are correct. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you for um, helping me identify all these shapes. Remember, our different 3D shapes can also be beside one another. They could be next to one another. I can have shapes above or below. 
or I can have in front of or behind. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next one.